yeah hi guys um i mean i'm talking briefly about dignity in labor many years ago only a couple of jobs were really dignifying and so i mean you see white collar guys guys who wore suits and um, who worked in offices they found it very exciting right i mean the height of fulfillment for very many parents is to watch and see their son or their daughter arrive from work in their suits and ties and came to visit it was really rewarding right and so I mean, I remember when I was much younger, some of the campaigns that we saw on TV was there's dignity in labor. And so people who weren't working in offices, you needed to encourage them to make them feel like their life was not such a waste. Ha! Ah, those days are long gone. Life has so radically changed that you can have somebody work in his house and earn millions, frankly, millions of naira. Why the guy who is in a suit and going to the office every day will barely earn 70, 80,000 naira? How is that possible? It means that in this day and age, not only is every kind of labor dignifying, a lot more of those informal labor are now more rewarding than even the former one. The truth is, today more now than ever before, there's a lot of dignity in so many work, different kinds of work. I mean, I talk about this from time to time. <laughs> Most of younger Nigerians, who the only work that they do is called social media influencing. They sit down in their bedroom and they earn thousands. Frankly, some of them earn millions of naira every month whilst very many are struggling to get in the rain trying to go to work every day and they have to be at work 8 to 12, 15 hours daily they would never be able to earn as much as those social media influencers what does that say to you it means that the world of work has rapidly changed work frankly dignifying and rewarding work is no longer spending 8 to 10 hours in a bank's uh, fifth floor office but doing that thing which you love every labor now is dignifying it's valuable there's a lot of dignity in labor. Pay attention to the strengths that you have. Pay attention to the interests that you have. Whatever it is that you love to do, look for how you can monetize it. I mean, as basic a thing as printing, as commonplace as painting, you'll be surprised at how much and how valuable painting can be, whatever it is. I mean, I know friends who are chefs, who frankly earn more than I do. Chefs, I mean, think about it. The possibility of just cooking in a kitchen. I mean, not even the kind of kitchen that you use in your house. Monstrous, massive kitchen, all fitted with ACs. You have a lot of assistants helping you. You cooking something that you love, and you're getting paid more than others. The only thing you do is you wear your white gown, maybe your white hat, and you're getting, frankly, better paid than everybody else. Imagine somebody who loves to talk, and he talks for 30 minutes and is paid three, five million. Imagine those young guys, I mean, the whiz kids and the Davidos, who only sing for a couple of minutes, and they earn 10, 15 million. I mean, just. A couple of days ago, I was reading about one of Nigeria's leading musicians, Olamide, and I heard that his booking fee ranges from 12 to 15 million. I'm like, wow. Just last December, we booked one of Nigeria's leading artists, and he collected 7.5 million from us. I mean, for very many Nigerians, how many months are you ever going to work to even earn a million? Yet, somebody earned 7.5 million for just a 30 minutes performance. So, frankly, it is possible for you to fulfill your dreams and get rewarded for it by just doing the things that you love. There's a lot more value today in the so-called unvaluable or unworthy jobs of yesterday. Today, they are more rewarding. I mean, photography, videography, a basic a skill as video editing is more valuable today than it used to be. I mean, think about Cracks TV. What exactly is Cracks TV? I mean, it's an agglomeration of a lot of young guys coming together to use video editing skills to create what is called one of Nigeria's leading uh, comedy business online. The truth is this. Nothing you can be today. And so whatever it is that interests you, I mean, architecture, as basic a thing as food tasting, as basic a thing as being a travel guide, as basic a thing as being, I mean, a bird watcher. It's so interesting. Life is so fulfilling today than it used to be. So don't fret. I mean, you don't have to be in a tie. You don't have to constantly wear a suit for you to find fulfilling jobs. I mean, every day of your life, you can do the things that you love and a lot of big bucks and have fun the rest of your life. So I'm asking you, don't be boxed in by the limitations of your culture or by, frankly, maybe the ignorance of your parents. I mean, that's difficult to say, but most of our parents, they don't even know what's going on right now. Even for me, I mean, I don't know everything. So I'm asking you, continue to pursue those dreams in your heart, whatever it is. It can pay you even much more than any work will be. Ensure that you find the things that you love. Think about how to monetize. I mean, think about it. Comedy was the... Uh, the interest of never do goods 20 years ago.
Today, comedians are the biggest, perhaps the richest guys in town. AYs, Alibabas, look at them. They've created an industry that never existed in the past. It's the same with social media influencing. It's the same with photography. Whatever it is that you love to do, invest a lot more in it. Think about monetizing it in a sustainable way. And you'll find that you make more money than you ever need in the easiest way possible. I, pay, I trust you continue to pay attention to that. Trust you continue to win. Cheers. And the like, man. Let them shout.